What's going on? This is the Big Jew. Welcome back to Let's Play the Seventh Saga No Magic Run. And yeah, in the last episode, we uh, stopped the war between Bellion and Telling, and uh, as a result, the prices of the weapons and armor in the in their nations have gone down. So I'm just gonna show you what I got. I did it all off screen. Bought an anger shield for Olven there. This is at Pedal, by the way. Yeah, there you go. 36 uh, defense power there. That's gonna be his best uh, shield for a long time. And then I went to Pang, and... And bought some Tang? No, I didn't do that. But I did get a Fear Axe, which increases his attack power by 56, so that's pretty crazy and awesome. So there you go. Uh, yeah, if you have o if you have a Camille and I think a Legis, they can equip the Fire Sword uh, that you can buy and put all there, and that gives you 45 attack power that's going to be your best weapon for a while. So there we go. Do they sell bottles of power here? Let's see. Yeah, they do. I want to buy some bottles of POWER for the next area. Oh, and the one below it, bottle of fossil that just petrifies the enemies. It's, don't get it. It sucks. Because it never works. It's something that a mirror won't take care of. Oh, and they have bottles of agility here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Balls of agility, very extremely useful, cause it buffs your agility, and uh, you want that. Trust me. Let me, yeah. We don't need balls of protection for a while. All right, let me fast forward. I don't know if that messed up my uh, recording or not. Oh, I'm done. Okay, cool. And vacuum that can, uh, what was it? Uh, can one shot an enemy? There's an item that I want to buy called harps. Uh, I don't know where they, I don't know where I can buy them at this point in the game, but I'm gonna want to buy them eventually, uh, because I'll show you why. Right now, we're gonna teleport to Luze. Remember this place? Well, in the in the island, right next to it, there's a very special enemy we can fight. And I'm going to show you that enemy whenever I can. I love the music for this island right here. Alright, now let's see if this is it. Yes! There they are! The Super Brain. Super Brains have... 1,762 XP, which split amongst your players would give you, what, a little bit under 900? So, yeah, we want to take them out really quickly with a bottle of power! And, yeah. They have a lot of hit points. They have about 400, so I'd get on them. And they can cast Vacuum, which can one-shot your player, and an item called the Harp can uh, deflect it, so it's pretty good. I'm just gonna heal up a while here. Because there's a boss that we can fight and uh, lose that either, so... Come on. Take him out, Lion. Oh, what the hell? Really? But yeah, Olven looks really good with that Fear Axe right there. That's awesome experience points. Beautiful. Olven's at level 23. Nice. Oh, that's a good level up, too. Speed went up by 4. Not bad. Alright, let's go inside the uh, ruins here. Now, if you were able to get here, I think at either a really low level, or if you didn't go into a, or if you didn't get a single encounter in the uh, cave of B-Roar, um, 
I think you'll be able to get a rune here, the sky rune. But apparently we were too late, so oh well. And there's a dragon. Random dragon. Uh, yeah, so in order to activate the uh, sky rune uh, storyline, you gotta beat the dragon. If you beat him, uh, then an apprentice, then like it'll show a random apprentice in one of the towns you already visited, and he'll be carrying the room. So let's take this guy on. And it's boss time against the dragon, and the dragon can cast fireball on you, which will kill you. Uh, he also has a pretty good uh, physical attack. He can buff himself and he can debuff you, so let's go. First things first, Star Rune. My players, let's buff him. Because his physical attack is pretty mean. I just hope he doesn't use fireball. Ow! Alright, have Wild Defend. Wild Elven uses a bottle of power on him. Nice. Boom! Not bad. Yeah, Olven's looking really good with this new equipment, man. Good stuff. Oh, he's gonna really shred with this. Oh, 190. I don't even think I have to charge up my attacks. I think I can just wail on him. Ow. Alright, I really hope he doesn't use Fireball here. If he does, he might kill other players. Oh, he can uh, petrify you. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, hey, here's the, here's why I wanted to get balls of agility. I'll show you why right now. Because what ball of agility will do is raise your speed by 30, which is really good. Because if you're at a level where you're like on par with a with the enemy's uh, speed. You can dodge their attacks, but always land yours, because speed is accuracy and evasion in this game, so there you go. And Wyom's up at level 23, awesome. Not bad. HP up one by 9. Wow. That's a good level up right there. Both of those players got great level ups. Not bad. Oh no, the rune is missing! Yeah, so now someone in a previous uh, village or town or city or whatever, or kingdom, uh, and even the ones you haven't visited yet, I think that it, it's just a random check. Uh, someone from there has stolen the rune, so that's gonna take a long time for me to get to. Uh, so I don't really want, I don't really care about it quite, quite yet. What the Sky Rune does when used in a fight, it will restore your magic points, which I don't care because this is no magic run, so why should I give a crap about it? Let me go back to Pang, because we can still do some exploring uh, with the enemies that uh, I'm encountering in this area right now. Um, if you go a little bit, uh, what was it, east, or left, I guess, of Padal, you'll be fighting some stronger enemies there. So we don't want to go anywhere near, like, the Padal area quite yet, but we can still, uh, do some exploring here. Wow, I only have two antidotes. I think I'll be okay though. Be able to get to the next location pretty easily. Oh yeah, avoid those enemies. Yeah, Olven is a beast with that axe. Let me tell ya. Let's see where I am on the map here. Hey man. No, I, I am going the right way. Alright, I'm out of antidotes now, so I better, uh... Better start 
start running away from defeats and uh, cocoons there since they can poison me. Okay, I'm an idiot! Thought I could get away with it, but apparently not. Now I'm poisoned. And you're gonna be hearing that annoying beep every uh, step now. That's alright though, we're, we're almost to the next town here. Or at least, oh my god, I ran right into that. Oh, and here's the new enemy, Mutant. Oh god. If these guys are like really tough spellcasters right there, they can hit you with ice one and they can do a lot of damage. They can petrify you, they can buff themselves, I think they can debuff you. They can cast, uh, what do you call it? Um, Blizzard 1, which does a lot of damage. Your best hope is just to hope that they, uh, hit you with Petrify and hope that you have some, uh, mirrors on hand so that you can, uh, reflect the, uh, Petrification back. And they have about 120, uh, defense power, so there you go. Yeah, Olven's just awesome with that axe, right? With the fear axe. Yeah, mutants have a lot of hit points. Wow. My god. Alright, enough. Enough of these enemies. Oh yeah, I get past them. Well, at least I'm fast now. Run away from it. Which is really good, because I'm starting to get really annoyed. I know I'm missing out on a lot of experience points by f running away from enemies, but I don't care because super brains for the win. Let me tell ya. Woo! Okay, we made it. And this is the place I've been talking about for the last few episodes. Pan Dam. And yeah, let's go and rest up here. I think we can find something over here, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Yeah, we got a ring here. Whoa. Cool. And that's another, uh... What do you call it? Accessory. Uh, what that does is it protects against, um... I think vacuum attacks. Uh, so it's pretty good. Um... I don't know, I, I might keep it on Olven, but the Anger Shield is really good, so whatever. Anyway, that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play the Seventh Saga, No Magic Run. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.